if you can follow what I want to teach you now, hey, the topic is the seed Amen. of prophecy. Can somebody say the seed of prophecy? The seed of prophecy. We have some wonderful men and women of God in the house, special guests. At the appropriate time, I will introduce every one of them. And if you're a pastor in the house, please do well to enlist your name in that introduction slip so I will not skip your name. God gave me a word titled the seed of prophecy. Hear me. Joel 2 verse 28 says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your sons and daughters shall do what? Prophesy. They shall do what? A seed is the unit of production. A seed is what? Yes, a seed is the unit of production. It is a unit of reproduction of a plant, animal or humans, capable of developing into another such species. Yes, sir. I gave birth to a daughter. The thing that gave birth to the rise to that daughter is a seed I deposited in my wife. Do you understand now? Yes, sir. That is what a seed is. But the topic is the seed of prophecy. Mm. Genesis 1 verse 26 to 28 says, And God said, Let us make man in our image. Let us create gods that will dominate the earth. Is somebody picking me now? Yes, sir. God was virtually saying, let us recreate another God mm. that we stay on earth while we stay in heaven. That is the true meaning of seeds. Until you get this picture, life will be always difficult. Get this picture and you will see how you command things and they will work easily. Oh. I think, believe some people are still standing outside that can see white chairs, bring them in. So God created Man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female. So the thing that made man a seed of prophecy is also the thing that made females female um, a seed pro of prophecy. 28 says, and God said, let them, and God blessed them, and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply. Hear me. Image is a representation of the external form of a person or thing. So, God made us in his image as his representation. Image means a representation. There is no day you will see another form of thing in the mirror when you are before the mirror. Am I speaking to you now? Yes, sir. Pastor John, please come inside. One of the ministers make way for a guest, minister, a guest pastor in the house. Likeness. Say he made us in his image and in his likeness. What is likeness? Likeness is the fact or quality of being alike. That means we are like God. You are his image. You are his likeness. So stop looking down on yourself. Somebody say, I won't look down on myself. Every living soul is God's creation. And by that, we, we are born with the power of procreation. We are God's creation and we have the power of what? Procreation. That is why Sunday, one day I told them, God is not creating again. He has created what we need to use and create. God will not create land again. God will not create life. He has given you life and the tools you need to procreate. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. A prophecy is a divinely inspired revelation or interpretation. It is a miracle of knowledge, a declaration of description or a representation of something that will happen in the future. Beyond the power of humans. I'm trying to define my topic. Seed of prophecy. A prophecy is a message inspired by God. A divine revelation. An inspired utterance of a prophet. In general usage, a prophet is someone who can foretell the future. Is someone still following us? Yes, sir. So hear me. Everyone born of a woman is a prophetic seed. I will explain it to you. Those days in the Old Testament, you only have prophets that prophesy. But I can prove to you that you sit there and now you are a prophet and a prophetess. Yes, sir. Oh, we'll get to that. So you stop looking down on yourself. Genesis chapter 21 verse 26 says, and God said, let us make man in our image. If God is God and he made you, it means you are a God. Yes, sir. Let me come down. A chicken gives birth to a chicken. True of us. True. God gives birth to God. True. Yes, 
Mpi gives birth to Mpi. Cow gives birth to cow, true of us. Yes, sir. Oga, you are a god. See, you are afraid to answer. Yes, sir. Until you swallow it, you can't function as a god on earth. God is capital G O D. We are small letter G, capital O, and capital D. Then the devils, the gods of the world are the smallest capitals G O D. Have you not heard? Ye are God. The scripture has told you. You, you never hear, say you be God. I am a God. I rule in my family. I rule in my village. I rule in my state. I rule in my nation. No economy can bring me down. Until you begin to speak as a God, you can't function as one. When your neighbors laugh at you, don't look at them. Don't feel fidgeting. I know that somebody will leave here transformed. The Holy Spirit will allow me and give me the grace to make you understand who you are. Genesis 18 verse 10 says, and he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. These are seeds. Matthew 1 verse 21 says, and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins. These are seeds. Why am I reading these scriptures? Because everyone born of a woman is a prophetic seed. And before we were born, we were formed. And the spoken words are the components of our formation. We were formed. Jesus was prophesied. And his birth was foretold. True words before it came to pass. Hear me. Let me slow down here. It is therefore clearer to say this morning that all prophecies, prophetic seeds, And prophetic manifestations are products of voices. Everything I'm teaching today boils back to voice. Everything boils back to your words. A prophet, the prophecy, the prophetic seed are all components of our voices. Tell your neighbor, mind the way you use your mouth. Hear me. No prophecy comes without a priest or a prophet. A prophecy needs a priest or a prophet. Are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. No prophet operates without an altar. Uh. A prophet needs an altar. Yes, sir. No altar is active without a voice. Yes, How many things did I mention there? Prophet or priest, altar and voices. Take note of those three. What? Priests or prophets are the same. Priests, altar and voices. Now I am a priest. This is an altar and this is a voice. I will prove to you that these three things are in you where you are seated. So you don't wait for a pastor to speak alone. You can speak and you will have it. I said you can speak and you do what? Somebody seated, don't worry. Before this month is over, God is sending someone to clear that house rent. I said someone will clear that house rent. Hear me. In the Old Testament days, a priest, the altar, and the voice are controlled by special people chosen by God, the Levites. You dare not call yourself a prophet in the Old Testament if you are not choosing. But in this dispensation, you are both a priest, you are both the altar, and you have the voice. First Peter 2 verse 9 says, But ye are a choosing generation, a royal what? Priesthood. You are a priest. And holy nation, holy is the altar. Anything that is associated with holiness is the altar. You have the altar with you. A peculiar people that ye should show, show forth the praises. What do you use to show forth the praises? Your mouth, the voice. So all of these things are in you. The priests, the altar, and the voice. Somebody say, I hear. I hear you, sir. What is the mystery about voices and about words? Voices or a voice is a sound or audible noise uttered by the mouth. Either by humans or animals or objects. A voice is a sound audible, uttered by the mouth. Hear me. Everything we can see today was created through spoken words yesterday. And God said, and it was so. And he saw that all he said that came to pass was good. What are you speaking into your family? 
What are you speaking into your life? Everything you are seeing here today are products of voices. When we were in number 100, we, we are just starting. I told them we, will, we are tired of this or God will move us. In less than two years, we moved. We got to this place. We were there in the past uh, anniversary. We told, I told them again, our next anniversary cannot be in this hall. And here is where we are. And I want to speak again. Before 2025 anniversary, our land is coming. Yeah. You can see, we are inside there. Heat is already a new place. Here is too tight already for me. Uh. We are just entering, but I am discomforted already. Your comfort zone is the thing that may zone you out of your blessings. Don't say, I'm okay with this one room. Don't be comfortable. When I was coming out of this office, I said, God, I appreciate you, but you have something bigger than here. Uh. Don't be afraid to speak. When you speak, you pick it up. What you say is what you see. Yes, Am I talking to somebody this morning now? Yes, Hear me. Matthew 10 verse 19. Let me show you something. But when Matthew chapter 10 verse 19. That may be a wrong scripture. But mine says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracle of God. Maybe there's a typography error. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth. Say, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracle of God. Who is an oracle? An oracle is a priest or priestesses or a priestess acting as a medium through whom advice or prophecy is given. My name is Miracle. When I was young, when they want to look for trouble, they will be calling me Oracle. Oracle. I used to be angry. I would cry. I thought it's Juju they are calling me. So one day when I gave prophecy and it came to pass, I, my mind went back to those days when I was young. When people in our yards, when they want to look for trouble, they will be calling me Oracle. Oracle. I thought it's a deity they were calling me. Until I read the scripture and I asked the meaning of Oracle. It means a priest or a prophet from God. And today that name they thought was a joke is a manifestation. What people say come to pass. Yes, sir. When you hear the negative one, send it back. But when is the positive one, embrace it. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. Until you say it, you cannot see it. The unspoken words in us are the unbroken words we are we are seeing. You are seeing broken. There ah, are limitation here, limitation here is because you have not spoken. First Corinthians 2 verse 13 says, For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Hear me. Desire is nothing without words. Courage is nothing without words. Faith is nothing without words. What can't be said can't be seen. Now, I'm going to be discussing three dimensions of powerful voices that prophetically controls your future on earth or your life on earth. Every one of us have three voices that is controlling us on earth. And the way you fight it or embrace it determines your testimony. Number one, voices sent into our future. Number two, voices spoken in our past before our existence. Number three, voices spoken within us. Number one is what? Voices sent into our future. That is powers that control the future. Number two is what? Voices spoken in the past before our existence. These are the powers from the past. And number three, voices spoken within you. That is the power of thoughts. Let's talk about number one. Voices spoken into our future. While you are busy living in today, many are focusing in shaping their tomorrow. Don't just dwell in today. Hear me. The things we do or speak today shapes our lives for tomorrow. Jesus had a life that was shaped by words that were sent before him. Matthew 1 verse 21 says, And she shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Did Jesus save his people from, his, from their sins? Yes. But that word was spoken before he came. What are you speaking to that baby in your womb before they came alive? What are you speaking as a word? My wife normally shares a testimony to me. She says when she was young, she used to pray that God, my husband, I don't know who he is, but my husband must be a great man. That was her prayer as a space that she kept praying that prayer. And anyone will be blind to say I'm not a great man. I, it's not bright. I'm not saying pride. You know you are God. You become what you speak. Yes. 
So I am talking with all sagacity and all awareness of my prophetic destination that I am a great man. So it is someone's prayer. My mother was praying too. Let me share a testimony. She is here after service. You can ask her. Stayed almost 11 months. After 9, 10, the baby refused to come out. They went to the hospital. They said the baby is dead in the womb. They have to evacuate the dead baby. My mother said, no, this baby is not dead. They kept on trying and trying. My mother said, no, the baby is not dead. She spoke the word. She believed. What doctors declared dead some 30 something years ago is still here standing alive speaking. She said the doctors were outside talking, even discussing with my father whether he could, you know, before operation they need to sign documents. While we, they were in that process, they heard the cry of the baby. My mother said, I jumped out of the womb that I almost fell from the bed and they used the hands to hold me. That when I came out, umbilical cords wrapped me around. You know when you buy bread and tie it around and lose it, you will see the mark on the body. That person that did the thing had seen tomorrow, had seen today. Had even seen tomorrow. But my mother said, no. This baby is not dead. So as the baby came out, that was the name Miracle from the hospital there. What are you saying to that baby in your womb? What are you saying to that financial situation? They call it dead. Tell yourself, I am rich. Don't judge your life by your account balance. Your account balance does not reflect the balance of your life. The doctors are right to give you a health report, but God is truer to give you your health status. Am I speaking to somebody now? Here is someone also speaking to you again. My mother almost died two days ago. BP came up. This come up. They called me from phone in the night. I said, God, what is this again? But I spoke a word and said, this is the midst of celebration. I refuse to mourn. And here she is. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. Don't say no and don't take no for an answer. The MD said they are demoting you. Say, God bless you, sir. Go back to the room of prayer and shape your destiny with words. Here is me talking to you. Even to the age and the level that my wife had child. She was pregnant. We were drinking garden. Yes, as a pastor. But when God remembered us, it looked at those as though we were dreaming. This thing I'm talking to you, this is my daughter. When she was in the womb, she will drink her in the morning and will drink in the morning with her. She will be breastfeeding and she will be drinking. It's not far. It was not far. Just some few, day, few months back. But I will come on the altar and preach. And I will tell her we are rich. I will tell her God will do this. Sometimes I will even have the money to use and cook. We use and cook. We will see churches lacking this. We will put it in church. We will see a member lacking this. We will say let that member take first. We will keep on patching. Patching. But no day will I come on the altar to dig clear something that I'm passing through. Because I know that it's a pass through to my come through. Yes, sir. You. Don't interpret life by what you see. You are bigger than what you are seeing now. God came and saw darkness in the face of the deep. He did not run. He said, let there be light. I give you one second where you are sitting. Speak life to your light, to your life. Speak light to your family. Speak light to your finance. Speak light. Into the future, I can see everything. It doesn't matter what men say. If you pay attention to what men are saying about you, you will not become what God has proclaimed concerning you. Yes, sir. Let them laugh from the left ear. Right, so tell them I know where I'm going to. 
what was spoken about you in the past the present will be difficult for you to even walk in to actualize your future what did they say concerning you when you were in your mother's womb what word was uttered I am telling you you can't neglect history if you want a, 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 a future that is bright you must go back to ask questions Seek to discover spoken words that surround your birth. Words from parents, events and circumstances that surround your upbringing. I can tell you vividly the story of Jabez. First Chronicles 4 verse 9 says, And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren, but, and his father and his mother called him Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow, Nothing consigned Jabez that you bore him with sorrow. Why would the mother go and give her that name? But Jabez woke up. I said, Mom, you called me Jabez because of the sorrow that surrounds your, my, my coming. But I will change the narrative. Jabez went to the altar and cried to his God. And he turned the story around. Verse 10 says, And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me, indeed, and enlarge my coast and that thine hand and that thine hand might be with me that thou wouldest keep me from evil that it may not grieve me and God granted him that which he requested that one thing you are asking God he will give it to you Amen. I said he will give it to you Amen. I said he will give it to you Amen. hear me there are some foundations we came from that will not overlook there are places you came from that you must address there are compounds you come from and you see that there are deities, shrines everywhere. You think those things don't have influence over you? They do. So when you grow up, work on yourself and deliver yourself from such backgrounds. Hardly will you go to any locality and you not see one shrine or one thing, one talisman, one deity. These things are the bane of African backwardness. Too much gods, too much gods. There is a tiny line between tradition and being fetish can have traditional way of life but when you are mixing it with Satan we know you can't deceive us you are, we know when you are mixing it with Satan the third voices spoken within you the power of thoughts whether you speak it or think it it is still a word and that it has the power to shape you this thing pastor is talking I know it's true but this kind of family I come from can I truly make it you are thinking it and that is a word. Be careful of what you are thinking. Am I, am I talking to somebody now? Yes, what you think you take. Proverbs 23 verse 7 says, For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Philippians 4 verse 8 says, Finally, brethren and sisters, whatsoever is true, this is the syllabus of thinking, whatsoever is noble, Whatsoever is right, whatsoever is pure, whatsoever is praiseworthy, think about such things, which means anything not listed here. Don't think about it. Don't think about poverty. Don't think about peril. Don't think about sword. Don't think about persecution. Though you are seeing them, don't think about them. It's very well. Many people are standing, no chair. And Jesus will teach him. 
in the wilderness. Many we are standing, many we are sitting. God will help us. There are many standing, the canopy is filled. Members, if God talks to you, because you're a prophet, you can hear him from the left or from the right. You can give our visitors seats and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Members, put our hands together for our members that are giving our visitors seats. Visitors coming, we love you so much. We love you so much. We love you so much. Mama Luzen Rushka Palagadia. Coming, 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 coming. Members, help them. You can be coming. They are giving you seats already. Coming. Coming. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Nimegio, Nimegio, Ezuru Muke, Nimegio, 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 Ezuru Muke, Nimegio, 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 Ezuru Muke, Nimegio. You can bring others to fill in the place. Those that stood up, you can come back and sit if they are not coming. Come back and see that. In Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Amen. We'll talk about Esau. You know the story of Esau and Jacob. The blessings that was due Esau, Jacob collected, but Esau did not keep quiet. Despite the fact that Esau was not blessed, when Esau and Jacob met, Esau was rich. Because say, when you are tired of bearing this burden, Genesis chapter 27 verse 1 to 40, and Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy Lord, and his brethren have I given to him for servants. And with corn and wine have I sustained him, and, with, and what shall I do now unto thee, my son? Verse 40 says, And by thy sword shall thy live, and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Esau didn't serve Jacob. If you read your Bible very well. Esau didn't what? Serve Jacob. Because he said no to that cause. The lawful captive can be delivered. It doesn't matter the mistake you've made. It doesn't matter the lineage you came from. It doesn't matter one thing anyone said about you. Let me tell you, you can be delivered even now as I'm speaking. I said you will be delivered. Because Isaiah 49 verse 24 says, But thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with him. Anyone fighting you, my God, will fight them. Anyone saying we will not move forward, that person will come backward too. In the name of Jesus, we pray. I was talking about how to war your prophecy. B. Return the prophecy or the word back to sender. If someone speaks a negative word to you, don't swallow it too. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes. Can you remember the story of Mordecai and Haman? Esther 7 verse 9 to 10. Now, Hebona, one of the eunuchs, I believe we've given those outside sound. One of the eunuchs said to the kings, look, the gallows 50 cubits high, which Haman made for Medecai, who spoke good on the king's on behalf, is standing at the house of Haman. Then the king said, hang him on it. So they hanged Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. Then the king's wrath was subsided. Hear me. Mordecai prepared a place that Haman will be killed. Haman prepared a place that Mordecai will be killed. But verse 10 says, So the Haman was hanged on the same gallow. Anyone who dug a pit for you will fall in that pit. Anyone who said you will not move forward, that person will see the God you serve indeed. Then number three, ignore the prophecy and advance and miss it. If someone gives a negative word, a negative prophecy, do what? Ignore it and advance. Be courageous. Look at Joseph. Joseph had coats of many colors. The brethren hated him. They took him and put him in a pit, 
killed a, 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 an animal, used the blood to stain his clothes and send back to his father to tell him that his son, his beloved son is dead. They brought him out of the pit because of the intervention of Reuben, sold him into slavery. And Potiphar's wife, again, was another affliction on him. He was sent back to prison. From prison back to palace. In all of this, he was courageous. Tell your neighbor, be courageous. It doesn't matter what they have said. Be courageous. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. Do you still believe you are still a seed of prophecy? Yes, sir. How to deal with positive prophecies? And this first session will be over. If someone gives you a prophecy, how do I deal with it? How do I do with it? Number one, receive it. Do what? Matthew 13 verse 3 to 9 says, And he spake many things unto them in parable, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, praise the Lord. While I looked at the window, I saw some young girls. One was putting on red. Immediately I saw that young girl, I saw her traveling abroad. That was why I said, make seat for them to come in. I wanted to speak to that girl. I tried, I tried, I tried to get it. Sure. Jesus. I overlooked it. I said, let me just overlook it. And if God is saying, have mercy and bring her. That girl, we are in red, come. Bring her, no, come. Let me hear you say, hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. When are you finishing your school? Two years from now. Did you discuss with me? Two years from now, you are manifesting abroad. Amen. Two years from now, this girl is doing her master's abroad. Amen. It doesn't matter your background. Sha Mm. The person who will do it. See the way you love me. The person will end up marrying her. See the way you care for me. You carry my matter for your If you know me, I don't say what I don't hear. I hear you, sir. I don't give prophecies that are not true. Uh -huh. It's better I keep my mouth shut than not say it. Uh -huh. Two years from now, time they run fast. Yeah, yes, sir. Receive it. I hear you, sir. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. As they came, I saw it. Hotiki, Oyeki, Maya, Nadia, Kaya, Hotiki, Oyeki, Maya, Nadia.
your day is coming. Your day is coming. And your day is not far from now. During VG on Friday, when all the ministers were speaking, after the ministers were done, I came on the altar. The first word I said is that I see people waiting on this new altar. Yeah, man. And immediately you came out again. I saw faces and be, I'm joining on this altar. Yeah. Yeah. Father, such as I have, uh. I and my wife, at the age 30, I got married. Uh. Father, as I give these hands on my wife, Jesus. and she begins to shake every one of them, uh -huh. that devil, they never born away. At all. That devil, they no born you away. I hear you, sir. I command prolonged singlehood crushed on this new altar now. Yeah. Amen. In the name of God the Father, yeah. Amen. of the Son, yeah. Amen. of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Amen. This handshake is a handshake of congratulations. Ah, yes. Yes. As you take you go back to your seats uh. and watch at back to back weddings <laughs> in this church. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I said what? Receive the prophecy. Hallelujah. Open your heart and do what? Receive. receive. When a prophecy comes your way, open your heart yes, sir. and receive it. Number two, receive the sender. You can't receive a message and not receive the messenger. Mm. You can't say amen to someone praying to you and you're in your heart. You don't receive the person. Oh. Matthew 10 verse 41 to 42 says, He that received a prophet in the name of the prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And number three, receive the condition attached to that message. Hear me and hear me well. Every miracle you see is a result of obey destruction. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. When you obey instruction, God delivers you from destruction. Mm -hmm. If the instruction may be, please dance. The instruction may be, raise your hands. The instruction may be, pray. The instruction may be this. Obey Instruction. Do what? Obey. obey instruction. Trust and obey. For there's no This service will proceed after we have given Jesus his place. Mm. I see God starting a new thing in somebody's life. Yeah, Amen. But it starts with rededication. Uh. This is the second, third time we are doing dedication as a church. There is no aspiration of dedication. There is no over-dedication. You can keep rededicating. Yes, sir. We dedicated the other one. We dedicated this one. We dedicated this one. Yes, sir. And we are about to dedicate Lando. Yeah, Amen. Every pastor here is about to also dedicate their ministry. Yeah. Land. Yeah. Amen. Jesus needs you. Yes, sir. Mm. Heaven is real. Amen. This one is not prayer. Hell is real. Mm. Am I speaking to somebody now? Ye yes, sir. You need Jesus. Jesus said, I should give a warm handshake to as many who will receive him now. It doesn't matter whether you are a child in the canopy, visitors in the canopy. Yes, we are believers, but sometimes we make mistakes and you want to rededicate. After this, We'll get into the prophetic moments to declare what the future has and the moon has. I believe our sound is connected back to the laptop and I know that God will do the incredible. Amen. I want you, Jesus, in my heart. I want to rededicate. Please come to the altar. Don't be shy. Jesus is about to start something new. Come to the altar. Jesus, I love you. 
Come to the altar. Come to the altar. Come to the altar. To my life, I confess my sins before you today. I also confess that Jesus died to save me, and He is Lord forever. Accept me into your kingdom. I will serve you all the days of my life. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I pray for you today. May a new life begin. Amen. Amen. May Jesus make you a light yes. in the world. Amen. Amen. Everything that the devil associated with your name are wiped off now. Amen. Amen. The blood of Jesus washes you clean. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I give you a warm handshake. God bless you. God bless you. As I give you, please you can go back to your seat. God bless you. God bless you. Wait, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Get that sleep. Give to them. If you're, if you're a member, you just tear this off when you are done feeling it. And take this part. Just peel this part and give it to us. But if you're a member, don't take. Those that are not members, give to them. God bless you, ma. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Your grace has for me. Have your seat. Just as I am. In God's presence.